hard to believe that just two weeks ago, this was our weather, and most of us are thinking about better times ahead in the spring and summer that look something like this. But before you can get there, there is something in the middle, and that's early spring when you need to clean up your lawn and your landscaping. And this is reality on where I'm at right now. It's a big mess and it needs to be cleaned up for the spring, but I wanted to do something different this year and make this job a little bit easier. And most of my cleanup involves these grass plants, but you could easily use this for sticks, grass clippings, or any other kind of debris. Especially in New England, we got a ton of stuff that happens over the winter, and you've just gotta basically pick it up, move it somewhere else, or throw it out. And a tarp is a great way to get this job done, but personally I've never used them because usually those holes in the tarps pull out, they tear just when you don't want them to, and it ends up being more of a frustration. But this year was different. I saw this product advertised on Amazon that said it kind of fixed all that, and it had these handles that made it look like it could really do a good job. Now this isn't a sponsored video, I didn't get anything for free, I just ordered this like anybody else. If you order the one I did, they call it a cleanup canvas. I don't know why that name is so fancy, but personally, I call this thing super tarp. It's got these foam padded handles, but the real secret is what they did with the holes. They put this bracket on there, riveted it, and it basically strengthens the holes so you're not gonna tear them out. And I always plan to make something like this, and I just never did, and for 25 bucks by the time you buy the tarp, this is probably a better alternative. Using this tarp, of course, is easy because it's just the tarp, but you wanna make sure those handles are exposed so you can grab them. Now here I'm just gonna load up these grass plants, but you could use this for pine cones, branches, even small rocks, anything that you wanna move easily to somewhere else. But these plants surprisingly weigh more than you'd think, and I do have an ATV, but the reason I don't like using it is because they just blow out of the back and they're so long, they don't really get into the box of the ATV. As I'm loading up these grass plants, I thought of something else. If you're ever gonna dethatch your lawn like I've shown you in some of my other videos, you know that makes a ton of debris that you need to get rid of. So this tarp would be perfect because you could rake that stuff onto it and then move it to wherever you wanted or even use it to dispose of it if you had to say bring it to your dump. And because this stuff was stacked so high, I really need to throw a rope over it or else it was probably gonna fall off. And using these loops made it easy. I just took a piece of rope, wrapped it around the outer two, and then made kind of a sandwich to pull it together. But now I could also use the ropes along with the hook to drag this thing to where it needed to go. And that's the real test of this. I'm gonna be throwing this out about 1500 feet away from where I'm doing this work. And here's another tip. If you want your tarp to last a long time, don't drag it on asphalt like this but I didn't have any other way to get to where I'm going. And even going up this incline, this tarp did just fine. The handles didn't pull off and everything was going good. And when I got to where I needed to dump it, it was super easy. Just take the rope off, pull the handles, and all the debris comes off. And if you're thinking big deal, it's just a tarp, they're all the same, you're definitely not right because having these handles makes the difference. I've got regular tarps and there's just no way to grab them, especially for this kind of a pull. And if you wanna use it for something heavier like branches or logs, you could definitely pull this thing along. But if you're pulling it on grass, it should be a lot easier. So this thing for 25 bucks was definitely a good purchase, but this one tool can make it a little bit easier. And if you can make your own, go for it. But if not, this might be something you wanna consider for yourself. So hopefully this video gave you some ideas about something you might be able to adapt to your own house and make your life just a little bit easier. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.